So a big uh, issue that comes up for many developers, or many, not developers actually, but people who have app ideas are, you know, they all, they, like let's say you're not a developer and you have an app idea, right away you have this dilemma like, should you hire a developer, should you hire an agency? It's expensive, it's not cheap. Um, and that's your answer right there really, it's expensive and it's not cheap, um, so it's a lot of risk on you. Um, I really recommend trying to learn how to make apps on your own. I'm not going to say it's easy, it's not easy, but it's not as hard as people make it out to be. And you can start small and empower yourself and teach yourself and really, you know, it might take some time, but you'll get an incredibly valuable skill that you maybe even get hired for later. And really, you'll really empower yourself and you won't waste a lot of your money or in, in, you know, in some cases your family's money or people who have invested in you. Um, and even if you got an investment, you'll be able to use that money for better things, like other things. And so you, don't, you won't have to like, waste all your, all your resources on development. So I really, I, if you can, if you, if, if you have, you know, if you're able, try to teach yourself how to make apps. It's not as bad as it might seem. It's not as hard. I mean, it's not easy, but it's not as hard. Um, and paying for an agency, you know how these things work? It, these projects always run over time or over budget and it's hard to stop in the middle because you know you already paid let's say ten thousand dollars or five thousand or twenty thousand and they say well we, we underestimated and it's gonna take like ten more thousand what are you gonna do you're gonna say are you gonna say no it's very hard to say no because you just spent twenty thousand right so it's a very difficult thing to kind of stop and there's this whole problem of throwing money after money Add, add it and then when you're done you're only in version one and you release the app then you, you should start like iterating and changing your app and improving it but you're out, you're out of money at that point and that really can kill a business and that really can kill a mobile app business so I really recommend not spending your money but taking the time to teach yourself that's my recommendation and I've seen many cases where people who have paid to have the app developed yes the development was professional was very good but at the same time, it was too expensive to justify the costs um, and the risk and things like that. So those are the things to consider.